What's up everybody, Little Big Robots back. Another quick video. This time I'm looking at the Amaim Warrior at the Borderline is the series name. A-M-A-I-M, -A -I -M, Warrior at the Borderline. The Nurian, 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 um, which is one of the grunt suits. Um, I previewed the other one called the Bunyip, which is basically an AI. It's literally a little version of a big robot. That's why I love these things. Um, this will give you a little lore there if you want to check it out. Um, kind of, kind of what you expected, you know, kind of a typical lore type of thing. Um, very simple build, pretty cheap kit. I think I got it for 20 bucks. It was on sale a little bit though, but super poseable, uh, unusual. Kind of these, these new lines remind me a lot of IBO, where IBO is trying to do something different with Gunpla. Um, granted, this isn't Gunpla, this is, I mean, it's, you know, in the category of, but this is a, not a Gundam, uh, you know, um, IP. This is a unique kind of universe and stuff. Um, but it's very similar to IBO where they're trying to kind of, uh, you know, incorporate different looks, different styles of everything. And to try, you know, they're trying something out and something new, which I really, really, really appreciate. And I really try to support that stuff because um, you, you want Bandai to understand that people want something different. This is, like I said, a little grunt model. Uh, grunts are my favorite things. I usually like grunts more than the main character or suit in the series. And I like simple, very, very simple. I like exposed uh, innards so you can like see everything because it's a bot. You know, you're supposed to be able to see it. It's funny, this part right here, that design, does that not remind you of the Barbatos uh, leg area? I think on the back of the leg the calf or whatever but so there's some similar design aesthetics here the feet are not my favorite but at the same time uh, I, I like that it's something new and oops something new and interesting it does some pretty cool movement these are about as poseable as you could imagine i.e <laughs> very very poseable um, these arms on the top remind me of a 30 minutes missions kit so it's a bit spindly right there that uh, that to me is a is probably the only weak point is that it looks a bit weak there um, but other than that it, it's you know I would imagine that it would do better than to have like a like a little shoulder cover or something there because it is a combat thing so it should be protected or whatever this is really simple you can just pop the guns off of the back the gun you know just pops in literally right there it's got, you know big guns like this are kind of ridiculous when you get into it you're creating a humanoid bot why would you have a big gun it has to hold that you could just have it installed in its arm or I, I don't know uh but this i mean it's a nice looking gun if that's your thing you could use that i mean if you look at it you could use that on all sorts of action figures and other model kits too this is my favorite the hatchet a melee weapon is really really actually super smart um, if you had a, you know, 20 foot tall or whatever bot, 30 foot tall bot, you could use this for rescue. You could use it for work, for combat and whatever. And there's no denying a giant piece of metal. Um, it has this cool shield that just kind of mounts there. So it's not a, again, everything is really simple with this line. I love that. It kind of reminds me of, uh, 30 minutes missions again, which is probably my favorite line right now. The head is interesting. It, ha it did have this one sticker there. Which I, which I, uh, you know, um, it's okay. I think you could have just put a piece of uh, clear plastic. Would have been even better to have as the eye, but it looks okay. It's just a white. And I think that you have a choice there. These little missile pods on the back of his arm are interesting because they actually open up. Let's see if I can get it to open up here. How do you do it? Uh, let me get my tweezies here. How did you do it? I can't remember how you did it. You see the missile in there? So the missile, I don't, it, I don't know that it comes out, but something folds down. I can't remember how this works now. Let's see if I can find out. Yeah, it has a little door on it. Maybe this is the little door. Did I not put it on that one? Oh, you know what? I'm missing the door part. I forgot. So on that one, I lost that little bit. So let me show you another one. Let me take this off. Anyway. So it has this little door gimmick. And then there's the little missile in there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's, it's not really a, a big deal. But essentially, it's a, a little missile pod that you know mounts on the back of the back of the arm. I see it without all the stuff on them. I really like the look of it. I love spindly looking thin because if you're going to build a giant AI robot thing, you're going to want it to be very very um, 
in, in lieu of big, bulky, and heavy, um, you know, you want it to be very mobile and uh, flexible, and it could get into areas that other stuff couldn't. I mean, you, you, you can just, with no skirts and everything, you can do so much with these, <laughs> with these bots. I love um, the posability in them. I love that um, the, the feet automatically on, an old, on any old kit now just are so posable. You can just slap it into different positions. So this, along with the bunyip, um, is one of my favorite style of, here, I'll show you the bunyip real quick. As a comparison, so to see the bunyip is quite a bit larger, um, but I love um, grunt kits like this that are literally robots, you know, AI-driven robots or whatever, because you can buy an army of them, you know, and just and just go to town on them. So very, very cool, interesting looking, like armor bits in key places and stuff. This isn't protected, so that's a little weird, but this is, so that's cool. Um, you got the little skirt on the back. It's just a neat looking um, design, and the more I look at it, the more I see little glimpses of what remind me of other lines, but that's completely fine by me. All that I had left in the plastic was, after everything was built were these extra hands. So you're going to have a few extra choices. This was cool. You have one for the gun. You can do a little shooty hand as the actual finger extended and stuff. So that's kind of a cool, even just as an extra hand on some other kit, you know, with the finger, you might need to put a little paint on that. But really, really cool grunt. I'm loving it. Uh, it if these things go on sale, I swear I'd buy, you know, 10 of them, build a little army. Um, it's just a it's just a cool uh, kit with some neat little engineering in there that is going to allow you to, to, to basically put it in what, whatever position you want. Even the hands on the wrists have that kind of a, movement so that it's easier to hold weapons at an angle and guns and stuff like that so fantastic i love these little grunt kits i'm really enjoying this line go pick one up you won't regret it bye bye i'll talk to you later bye bye